Welcome back. We are going to introduce you to Peak D Badges. We're going to click on Badges, and this is actually a decentralized feature that can exist on other Hive-related websites. Right now it is on Peak D. It uses a decentralized list of users. Uh, to get there, you can go to the Explore menu presently and click on All Badges. Any badges that you subscribe to will also be listed there. For example, if I were to go to Utah Hivers, there would be a subscribe button. Let's also break down this page. There are obviously still different ways to view the content on the page. This is the list view, and this is the grid view. Right here, we're on the tab accounts feed, which means everyone that is a recipient of this badge, it is showing a it is showing the feed of all of their posts for everyone that's a recipient. If this account that represents this badge were to, to write something, it would be here. And then the list of everyone that has received the badge is listed here. So you, if you were interested in all of uh, the people that, and, and here's the description here, a badge for Hive users in Utah, active posting in the last eight to 10 months. It will tell you how many people have been a recipient and how many people are subscribed to this badge and who created it and when. All right, so that's the example of using a badge. We're going to go again and see, for example, another badge so you can have quick access to see information that you may be interested in. Uh, Hive Chain News or uh, developer Hive developers writing stuff. So, but there is a long list of different badges, and some of them may be of interest. And there is also a search option. If you go to search and write, type something, there should be options for badges. And by options, I do mean search results. So, if I do a search for Utah, I'm doing primarily a search on posts, but it will also give me a result on badges. If you are wondering how to create a badge, there is a post called how to create a badge on peakd.com, which we will add to the bad page, badge page soon. It lists the steps on how to create a public list and then things that we have here to qualify for a badge and then how to submit your badge. This process in the future will be more automated, but for now you can manually create a account list and submit that. And then your badge will show up here for free for the foreseeable future. If you look through some of the badges, you'll get an idea of what is possible. There are badges for games, there are badges for locations, there are badges for communities, and each one of them, each time you go into it, there will be description that states what is required to be a recipient of the badge. This badge is for active members of the Ladies of Hive community. So it has a little bit of description of what that means to them, but the important part is that every badge should explicitly state what is required to receive that badge. And I forgot to mention this. What's very important as well is when you go into the badge, go to one of the users, their badges will show up at the bottom of their account, of their profile. So when you're on someone's profile, you can click on it and go to the badge page. Let's take a look at Jarvi with quite a few badges that he has. And if we were to go here, it would take us to this badge page. So one of the awesome ways of finding other users that maybe have similar interests or doing similar things. If you would like to know what's coming on badges, we will have an automated system and we will have a recommendation system to help badge creators get new users added to the badge. Those are just a couple of the features that we plan to add for badges. There will be many more in the future. 
including quite a few new features for communities, a lot of integration to the community feature with badges in the future.